Yo, what's going? We are here in one of the absolutely best maps in the game. In the cold, snowy, winter, eastern front fortified district. And we are attacking as the Germans. In our fourth game ever. As the hopeless noob. And this is gonna be a big challenge. I can already tell because this fortified district is literally very well defended and fortified. And all we have is a bunch of more numerous squads now, I mean, stronger populated squads, but still very weak, low entry equipment. <clears throat> so let's see how we can how we can do one of the hardest attacks possible in the game with basically no equipment at all. Yep. We have the double tree trunk protection. Yeah, first we need to take out these machine guns. The best way to do that is usually enter tank rifles, but we yeah. are <laughs> Okay, bolt action in life it is. Yes. Yeah, we need some firepower. The tank is the only thing we can do. I usually would have started with a tank here. But since we have only the weakest tank in the game, I hoped other players would take the tank and I didn't want to take away the tank slots from them. So we get stronger tanks in our squad. But yeah, I guess our little Panzer 2 needs to do the work. Now, any t any Soviet tank that looks at us, will, oh my god, will blow us up easily, but let's hope we can survive this engagement. At least we have... T oh yeah, we got lucky, nice, someone killed him. At least we have three tankers now, so we have twice the reload speed as before. Because we got a loader now. Alright, all right. the enemies are already building stuff. The best defense they can do is not just stand around in the center on the point, but spread out with tanks on the flanks and machine gun nests on the hills. This is literally the hardest they can do it for us. And the only way for us to win in that case is to just flank them too. And be oh yeah, there I see a machine gun. All right. Yeah, it's quite a miracle we're still alive. Yeah, this atmosphere is perfect. This is literally the perfect decent front atmosphere. For those who think it's too depressing, don't worry. The snowstorm is gonna get. Weak over time, there will be a little bit of sand, but it's also gonna start again, so it's fluctuating over the course of the game. Yep, we sl we started <clears throat> in a very shy way to cap, but that, yeah, that was it. Oh my god. Yeah, these Soviet beginner tanks are giving me PTSD. They, they literally just annihilate us too hard. Yeah, I guess if you want to have it easier, just start playing as the Soviets. Because, yeah, these Soviet play tanks are absolutely, absolutely overpowered compared to the German one. Nice, we have a rally point there. And since we still don't have engineers, we can't... We can't... <coughs> build any rallies. Yeah, that's by the way stupid game design. The game needs to start with with unlocked engineers and unlocked APCs because anything else just makes the game very brain dead. Okay, here we see these little streets and roads. They are new additions to the map. For years, the map, well, for for the one and a half years I've seen the map, it didn't have them. But these are really good because now the map were always more dynamic. Before that, it was two one. Dimensional. Yeah, we have to put our faith in this little trench here. And hope we can somehow push towards the point. Oh, 48 meter ready point, very strong. Let's blow up this anti tank gun. They got two tanks, an anti tank gun, at least two machine guns. Yeah, they are very well defended here. They have a strong team, they know what to do and how to defend. 
Yeah, the only thing that can help us now is me knowing the map very well and liking it so much that I do not want to lose on my favorite map. <laughs> oh, that's a... And that was a good machine gun. Well, at least for the beginning. Oh, damn it. Ah, yeah, reloading these 11 bullets was stupid. I should have stayed vigilant. Whew. Already three squads lost. But we are about to cap at least. Yeah, we we are the, the least progressed player in the team. Because I see all the other players having fancy specialist icons. But we only have the most basic ones. But don't worry, this will just increase our effort and motivation. Alright. Yeah, sniping. Uh, when it comes to sniping, we are quite equal to the enemies. My, my sniper rifles precisely said that a single weapon I have is upgraded, so they're, <coughs> they're still quite slow and unprecise. Oh, that was a curious Soviet. <laughs> That was a very curious Soviet. I was starting to aim in that general direction and hoped to find someone and we literally ripped out his head. Wonderful. Oh, we finally kept. Yes. Ah. Yeah, this fast shooting doesn't work with, un uh, with unupgraded weapons. They're just gonna miss hard. Oh, we found an enemy rally point. They just spawned in there. Let's go. Ah, uh, that's not wide enough, I guess. Oh, no, we hit them. Nice. And now we got unlucky because instead of getting the easy objective on the left side in the forest, which is another trench line, but it is surrounded by so many trees that you can actually hide behind the trees, we get the objective in the open that the enemies can just bomb the whole time and make sure we can't cap. <clears throat> and disadvantage is, it's not even symmetrical, because if we bomb the point and kill everyone, we don't have anything out of it, because we still need to capture. <laughs> so, yeah, open points are only good for def for defenders, not for attackers. And, once again, the fact that, we are, that I am personally lacking firepower doesn't make it easier. Yeah, I like this enemy team, they're constantly building cool stuff. That's a very good player over there. Yeah, I can't wait to also unlock the anti-tank guns and similar things. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, the bushes won't save you, Soviets. Yeah. Can we get closer? Damn it. Let's grab his rifle. If I can find it. Ah, okay. Yeah, we are literally pinned down. It was quite stable for us. But then they started fl uh, flanking from the left and then it was over. Yeah, this is the hardest point in the whole map for attackers. Especially if you have... If you're lacking strong equipment. So we, we literally need to find the best strategies now possible. We can't brute force our way into the win like we did in the first two games. Where, you, where the maps were quite fair for both sides. This map is very defender biased. So it's gonna be... A, yeah, it's gonna be painful. I can... I already see it. Yeah, you see how how good this left side is for attacking. You can get close without being yeah being sometimes killed. Yeah, we, we already would have kept if this was if this trench was the objective. Yeah, we got very unlucky. We got very damn unlucky. And the worst thing is I don't even have a plane to to bomb the point or to bomb the enemy tanks. 
Oh, this dude got a shot in the biceps. Uh, he didn't care. Okay. Oh, damn it. Ah, that was a miss. That was... That should have been a hit, though. Fuck. Okay. Oh, the enemies have bomber runs. Okay. <laughs> they have completely equipped and un upgraded radio squads, too. Yeah, this team is... Is... Extremely superior when it comes to equipment. Relative to us. But don't worry. This means we're just gonna... Triple our effort and motivation. Yes, this is how... How it works, I guess. <laughs> Alright, I see explosions. It... It must be this anti-tank gun. The problem is, I messed up my controls. Since I forgot how I changed my controls on my normal account. And now I, I can't properly mark. So I can't just randomly find a anti-tank gun by mark by, by spamming the mark button into the into the distance. This is a big problem. Because this is literally how you find enemy stuff hidden. <laughs> Especially when you're using a tank. Yeah, this is a big handicap now. Nice, someone was so polite and marked this enemy tank. Alright, he, he's searching for us. Yes, he's he's swaying left and right, so he does, didn't find us yet. Yep, yep, yep. All the sloped armor, damn it. Yeah, this tank is too much for us. Also, is that a T-50? It looked like a T-50. If it's a T-50, we can just completely forget it. T-50 has one of the best sloped armor in the game. The fact that he's a quite low tier tank. Oh, finally. Yeah, I think it's, yeah, I think it's a T-50. Yeah, we can't penetrate it from the front. Absolutely impossible. Only from the tracks. Oh wait, he's coming to us. Thank you. Very polite. Oh my god, we can't even penetrate from the sides. Okay. Alright, yeah, that's the, the T... Oh my god. Yeah, T-50 is overpowered. Also one of my favorite tanks in the game. Playing Soviets very fast. Has lots of ammunition, a very fast loading cannon. I think it loads as, as fast as a Panzer 3N. I considered buying the premium Panzer 3 something, I forgot the name. That I recommended in my buying guide for winter, for the winter sale. And it, it has much more firepower than the Panzer 3N. Without having to concede any advantages. And the price is quite good on the discount. But then I noticed, I literally absolutely love the fast reload of the Panzer 3N. Because you, you, you don't even need to... It just makes the game more comfortable, you don't need to think that much, because if you miss two shots, you still... <laughs> the, the thing reloads... The thing reloads almost three times as other tanks, so... Three times as fast, so yeah. And the T-50 also reloads very quickly. Which is very, very fun to play. And the 45mm cannon is really good. Damn it, these dudes are hiding... Damn uh, Hiding perfectly... Well. Okay... Uh, we need to get rid of all these motherfuckers. Ah yes, and I finally gave my... Snipers a second weapon. So now our snipers aren't too helpless anymore. Not only do we have... The flexibility when it comes to distance, but we also have more ammunition now thanks to the thanks to the weapon. Well it's not that much, but still a little bit more ammunition. Okay, they got two tanks. Yes, the right side is 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 lost for us. We need to flank yeah, we need to to flank from the left. That's the only chance for us to win. And my team needs to start building rallies on the left so we don't have to run every single time for one minute until we get to the point. Since capping is literally 
overwhelming the defenders temporarily for a couple of seconds. Well, you don't need to have a eternal dominance on the point. You literally only need it for some seconds. And for that purpose, it's much better to have the majority for a short time than have an equal situation for like one hour. And that's why having rallies close to the point so we can get many players in a short amount of time to the point is crucial. This is the main strategy in this game. Okay, Snowstorm is ending, which isn't that good for us because I've, I feel very comfy in the Snowstorm. But, well, the Soviets also have it comfy with their Shubkas in the Snowstorm, but I'd rather be able to hide and play under bad, bad visual environments than to be easily sniped or easily bombed by an enemy shell. <laughs> yeah, you see, it took us literally our whole squad to just get to, to the flanking area so we can start the flanking attack. Damn it. Yeah, this is a, this is a very hard game. Yeah, these morphos need to build rallies on the left because it it doesn't help if we it doesn't help if we cap if I clear out. Oh, they have heavy machine gun nests. Yeah, now we're gonna get schlonged from behind hard. This is absolutely horrific because they the the heavy machine gun from the Soviets is the strongest in the game, and I don't even have normal machine guns. <laughs> All right. Let's do the work again. First of all, let's create a bit of chaos and fear among those campers. So they change their position and we can get closer. Yeah, I noticed my team won't build any rallies on the left. So literally the only chance for us to win is to take the worst route from the right side and see if that works. Yep, if your team goes full retard, you literally have to do the... The, pick the worst option because your team refuses to pick the good options. <laughs> okay, what was that? <clears throat> oh my god. Yeah, now the enemies are playing maximum smart. They're not, they're not, yeah, they're spreading out their tanks. If tanks are close, you can deal easier with them and their line of sight is limited, but these tanks are spread out now. This is very bad for us, but he's getting close. This is a mistake. Oh, fuck the Soviet. Why was he so fast? Ah, yeah, this Soviet team is damn good. It's very good. They don't even camp. They always counterattack and spread out. And, yeah, spreading out is the best way to prevent flanking from the attackers as a defender. All right. We just lost 100 points in in one minute or so. Oh my god. This game is pure pain. Oh my god. I, I'm already getting brain damage from this game and my aim suffers. Alright. Oh! We started capping. Let's hope. Let's hope one soldier... Oh, there was some good head shaking. We shaked straight into him. Yeah, let's help cap. This is our big chance now. Yeah, whenever, no matter how bad it is, as long as you, as long as the game literally hasn't ended, you still have a chance to win and this is how you prove that you're a good player. You're gonna win the games that only give you 0.1% chance of winning. Because easy games everyone can win, but hard games, this is where skill actually matters. We kept, hello mister, very nice. Yes, perfect. And you see all of the destruction, all of the death on the road, it cost us a lot, but we kept it. And the next point ain't easy either, but it's at least easier than this point. It's all downhill from now on. But only moderately, it's still very hard. All 
Alright. This is literally the worst class to pick now in this situation. We are like 200 meters away and I have a short range weapon. That's not even that good on short range. <clears throat> but yeah, it's the only one I could, could I could pick now at the moment to actually work out. But we can slowly progress and we can... Yep. I saved our tank, that's good. Alright, now the SMGs are actually good. We're getting into a very comfy distance. But also don't know, as a medic you don't need med kits since you can always drop a box and pick one yourself. What you actually want is a toolbox to, so you can repair friendly tanks and get more experience. But since we're on a new account, I haven't bought any yet. Since we're literally on, on minimum silver. And I'd rather upgrade all of these weapons instead of... Instead of buying toolboxes to possibly use them, so... But yeah, this is a very helpful trick to know. Whew. Now we have to be fast. Because we can't afford dicking around like the previous points. Since we're down to 200... We're literally down to, tw to around 20... Yeah, we're basically down to 22 respawns. If we don't capture with 22 respawns, the game is lost, so... Let's go. Yeah, first of all, we need to smoke out possible tanks on the left side. And now let's blow up this tank. Oh, yep. <coughs> no defense for this tank. Since we're gonna die from the bomber raid anyway, I can just stay in the open. And be risky. Yeah. Okay, this tank took some damage. He took some damage and if I drive a little bit to the left, I can shoot him into the f left side. And kill him and then I can help our team capture. Yeah, this is gonna be some very tight operating now. Ah, there's another problem with this tank I noticed. Usually if you want to go to the high explosive shells, you just shoot your one first bullet. Like you enter tank bullets. And then you have it, but here you have to shoot all of the stuff. But since your cannon is overheating, it actually takes forever. So you can't even switch to the ammunition you want. Yeah, this tank is very bad. This tank is very bad. Oh my god. Alright, let's give them high explosives. And we are down to... To around 11, 12 respawns. Not that good. Yeah, we need to cap off our tanker crew. This tank is useless anyway. Let's go. Where's that Soviet? Oh my god. Yeah, that sucks. We got machine gun down. <laughs> okay. Yeah, now we need the now we need the big booty rifleman squad. With its currently eight soldiers. Yeah, that's the manpower we need to cap quickly. And we also would need a rally point here, so we can already so we already would be on the point. Oh nice. We have some strong tank, I see. We have a strong tank on our side. Now yeah, objective is he got like 15 kills with one shot. Now we can start capping. Wonderful. Let's go. Yep, get out of your Soviet. Oh damn it. What the fuck, there are three of them. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Not eight man squad, two man squad. I can also be tricky dudes, come on. 
Yeah, they, they, they ain't expecting that. There's still one fucker hiding. We have a strong, yeah, nice. We have a strong majority. All right. And the game, Gaijin isn't too generous now either. We only got like 100, 100 lives or so, but okay. Better than nothing. Better than nothing. Yeah, this next point is easier at least. And unlike this bunker, it's actually fast capable. It's quite close and we can quickly rush it. So yeah, speed is our best bet now. I don't really care about these bombs though. Nice. Nice. Nah, very nice. And no more. Okay, set. I still had one bullet. And this isn't nice to see. There are way too many Soviets and one fucker was behind me somehow. Okay, SMGs it is, medic squad it is now. As an attacker though, you can't even profit too much from the medic squad, so yeah, let's take... We can't even heal since we are constantly on forced to attack. So, healing won't work and we still need to get close because the point is full of defenders now, so yeah, snipers are better. I hear a rally point. Oh, damn it. Yeah, there are already defenders sniping through the center. I need to kill this ready point because otherwise... Whenever we... If, if we should die here... Enemies are gonna spawn next to our spawn areas. And this is just... This is gonna throw us back for way too long. And we're down to 150. That... Yeah, this is... This game is damn hard. This is like one of the hardest games ever. Especially due to, to due to the lack of <laughs> of tools to solve the hard problem. Oh, this is an enemy tank, I guess. Yes, it is. Uh, okay, I need, okay. He's perfectly placed for me to flank him on the right and shoot him in the weak side. And then just kill everything on the point, hopefully. And cap. Yeah, this has to work out. You're basically down to zero. Ah, and... To make it more interesting, I guess, we're also under hard time constraints. Because the bomber raid is gonna come. And I can't even use the right side. Also, there may be mines on the road. And if I lose this tank now, uh, the game is over, basically, so... Yeah, let's flank him from the left. I haven't seen any enemies coming from here yet, so there won't be any mines. And... I can shoot better into the point. From here. Yes, wonderful. Also, I can control the main road. On the center. And make sure enemies don't get close to the objective. Yeah, very fine. Yeah, this little shapel... Yep, it's empty. Wonderful. Also, I can te tear down all of these fences, which are also not that good for us. We want to be very fast as attackers. Okay. This is the perfect position for us. We are capping, and I control the area left of the objective behind it. Yeah, enemies won't be able to get on the point. This starts to look good, all of a sudden. And, oh no! Of course, not for too long, because two tanks coming. Oh my god. Okay, but we're about to cap. Yes. Okay. Time to fast... Yeah, now... <laughs> now we need to fast rush this point. Now we need to fast rush this point, because... Yeah, this is... <laughs> Sadly, not as easy as the Shapel, because it's literally across the frozen river, meaning we can get sniped while trying to get over it. And the enemies are in a fortified bunker, and they have a machine gun, and they are spawning close. 
and our team is in building rally. So there's literally all the reasons for us to lose. But don't forget, we have our triple motivation, so everything's gonna be fine. Ah, yeah, and we can be we can be flanked from by these enemy tanks, and there's literally no defense against it. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, we got we got a good dude with a Panzerbüchse. Yeah, that's crucial. Killing this APC. If this APC was on the point, they, they would have infinite defenders there. Would be impossible to attack. Yeah, killing this APC was absolutely important. And this motherfucker also needs to get out of there. Yes. A normal grenade would be better now. Yeah. Because these grenades are nerfed against infantry, but... That's what we got the rifle for. Yes. Yep, now we need to do it very fast. We can't afford any grind. As in real war. When Germany starts to do grindy stuff, it's gonna lose against the Soviets, so we have to be fast. Okay, can the Soviets stop us? With their waves? Of Gopniks? Or can we overwhelm them with our superior strategy? Okay, I... Oh, yes, we possibly can. We possibly can, because we have a rally point. What do we take? Medics for short-range capping or snipers for long-range control of the map? Ah, uh, yes, medics was the wrong decision. Yes, fuck. We can't even get close. Yeah, a sniper would have... Yeah, snipers would have been... Uh, our bots don't even... Yeah, this was a bad decision. This was a fucking tragic decision. Yeah, I should have picked snipers. Should have picked snipers. But okay. The tank is gone. And we can get closer now. And clear the objective. Even if we save one life with this mad box, it's worth it because we literally don't have any lives left now, basically. Yeah, this dude wants some healing. Come on. Oh my fucking god. Alright. Alright. And we can't spawn. Now, how do we win this? Yeah, we need... Oh my god. We need to spawn far away. We need to spawn... Our patience is being tested to the maximum today, I see. And we're on zero lives. And this tank is a noob because he doesn't drive to... Oh, does he start driving towards the point to help us cap? I hope so. Because, yeah, very good. Because if he stays here, we're just losing way too many... Too many oh my god, he... Oh, no. Come on, tank needs to d drive forward. And I need to save our teammates from those snipers. Oh wait, we're capping still. We're capping nevertheless. Oh my god, bomber raid at the worst possible moment. Not what we need. And one hopeless noob got killed. Alright, only one. We still got 80% of our power. But not good aim, okay. Alright, can the hopeless noob save the game? Save the match, let's see. And we got our trusty smoke grenade. So enemies can't properly... Yes, wonderful. Our little sniper squad that we always push towards the objective kept the point eventually. Very good. Yet yeah, this game, extremely hard. Like I can't remember having a hard game like that in a long time. Yes, low level games absolutely force you to be creative and find ways to deal with the enemies, especially superior enemy equipment, because this was extremely hard. This was absolutely pure hell. This was absolutely pure hell. Yeah, we only won because we we just went maximum for the chess mode on the last po points. And, and also, we, we lost the game, by the way. We were about to lose the game two times, on the second point and on the last point. But you see, always stay focused, always never be a bitch like most people, always stay focused on what's important, on 
using any chance there is to win that's left. And being down to zero lives isn't a loss. That's like the biggest mistake people do and it's completely annoying to hear people lose motivation only because the team is down to zero lives. This retarded. Zero lives means you still have all of the living soldiers in the game that, that can cap. And even if the timer starts, you can still, once you start capping, reset the timer. So even if you're down to one second, if you're one second away from losing, you can just reset the timer by starting to capture. So this is no problem at all. Yeah, always stay focused. Always use the chances that you that you created or that you randomly luckily get. And you see, you can win games like that. This was a very epic game. Very happy to have played it. And see you in the next games.